Hi my beautiful Pisces and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your February the 4th until the 11th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Those of you interested in personal readings, the link to those are going to be in the description box below, as well as the link to the extended reading of this, or the extended version of this, will be in the description box below. I've made a couple changes to the extended, so now from now on, this is going to be a general reading. Of course, love is always going to come out, but so is career, finances, and any other messages that you need to know. The extended is going to be mainly focused on love, as well as we are going to pull lovers, oracles, romance, angels, and we're going to take a look at you versus all the signs in the extended. So the link to that will be in the description box below, um, as well as those of you following me on here or Instagram or Facebook, which the links to Facebook and Instagram are down below as well. You're automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free reading from me. Um, at the end of the month, which is something that I do every single month. And those of you guys following me on Instagram are um, able to participate in the giveaways that we do on Saturdays for the free extended. All right, guys, so I'm just going to jump in with your reading. All right, messages for Pisces, please. Show me what Pisces needs to see, please. The Nine of Swords, the Hierophant. Some of you have a little bit of stress regarding a commitment. Some of you may have to go to counseling with the person that you're dealing with. Messages for Pisces. The King of Swords. Yeah, some of you are dealing with somebody that's very emotionally closed off. So whenever you guys have issues, they don't really deal with them. They just kind of brush them over, or wait for them to be done. Wait for them to, you know fade away instead of you guys dealing with things seven of cups and it leads you to feeling very confused and a little bit lost right I feel like you guys are the chariot the knight of wands let me just pull the last one and then we'll go deep into these and then we were we will clarify all right messages for Pisces okay two more so we have the knight of cups so if you're ending something in the Queen of Cups, don't worry, you have options. You have options coming in towards you. Some of you, this is going to be a fire sign, Sag, Aries, Leo. Others of you, this is going to be another water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, I definitely sense, um, you know, as the main energy being the Nine of Swords, there's a lot of anxiety. I feel like you guys are just trapped in your mind right now. The Nine of Swords with the Seven of Cups is about, you know, confusion. It's about anxiety, sleepless nights, um, options and illusions, right? So I feel like you guys are in a relationship where you don't feel comfortable. For some of you, you don't feel comfortable to express your emotions or whenever you do, you're kind of blocked out, right? Some of you, your partner may even get mad at you for trying to bring certain things up. So it's like you have to sit there and think about these things in your head, think about them by yourself and it creates confusion, right? Some of you guys are finding yourselves daydreaming a lot, um, thinking of past relationships. Some of you guys may have dreams um, coming towards you about your exes and these kind of things are usually Thing, signs of things that you know these things have meanings to them and one of the meanings is that you're missing something that a past person gave you in your current relationship with the Hierophant you know commitment is strong here some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer here um, there could definitely be some stress and anxiety regarding a commitment regarding whether to stay together or to separate here um trying to go get help and realizing that help is not working some of you are deciding to get help because your communication is just really bad with this person and you need somebody else to come in to really break them down because you're not able to do so yourself with this king of swords i feel like you guys are dealing with somebody that is you know a little bit they're not as emotional as you absolutely not this person is very emotionally closed off they don't wear their heart on their sleeve as much as you would this person may think that it's weak to express their emotions or to be emotional here and I feel like that's where the difference is I, I sense that you guys have very different love languages um this could also be somebody that just out of the blue gets cold right they're very cold and um 
I feel like this person is just a very cold person in general. I feel like you're the one that gets them to be as emotional as they possibly can be, but for you, it's still not enough for some of you guys. But there's definitely a lot of confusion here. Some of you guys are confused because you have options, right? And you're trying to use your um, mind instead of your heart on which option you want to choose, which option is better for you. Some of you have followed your heart before and it's led you down the wrong path. So you're wanting to be smart and use your brain this time when trying to decide who to be with here. With this Queen of Cups, you do have a lot of love to give. You are feeling very loving right now. Some of you guys are needing to spend more time with your mother or your children here. I do sense that could be a huge thing where there's a lot of things that you have to take care of. You're juggling, multitasking. You know, there's a lot of things that you're taking care of and a lot of love that you're giving towards other people, but I think that you need to pour a lot of that love into yourself this week. With the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups, there's two people that are coming towards you. Some of you, this is a past person and a new person. Some of you, there's two people that are fighting for you, but there's two people that are determined to have you here. And with you over here, it's like you're kind of sitting here looking at these people and you're very confused, right? You're trying to decide. Some of you, you don't even want one of these people, but them coming in confused you a little bit. Others of you are trying to decide, you know, which person you want. I think some of you want somebody who is a little bit more of, you know, I wouldn't say that they're a player. I would just say that they want to be single right now. They want to have more fun than a commitment, but they really do like you. So they're very confused as to what to do about that. And then you have somebody here who has been wanting you for a very long time or is just a lot more active in your life. Like they're a lot more present. They're a lot more emotional, you know, and they're not really in and out because I do sense that you have an energy of somebody in your life that is very in and out here. Some of you may decide to be with this person who is more consistent and that's when the person who's in and out decides to come rushing in and out of your life or sorry, decides to come rushing back into your life, creating confusion here. But let's clarify and then we can really figure out what everything means. All right, so clarify the Nine of Swords for Pisces, please. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Pisces. The Knight of Swords is clarified with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're having to make a decision. You're feeling conflicted about a decision. You're weighing between two people, two options here. Some of you guys, this is financially. You are feeling, you know, some of you, you may have more expenses than you normally have. Um, or you're having to pay off, you know, debt and it's really stressing you out. But there's either a financial issue that's burdening you or deciding between two people, right? Because some of you may be dating and you're kind of juggling, but you're wanting to commit to one person here. Others of you could have found out that somebody you were dealing with is juggling and it's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. You're trying to decide whether to move forward or not. And I do sense that if you do move forward, you will find a very loving person who, um, is very, very, you know, they're very, very much a romantic, just like you. Clarify the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody that doesn't believe in marriage or they don't want to have children. There's something that down the line with the person that you choose to be with for the rest of your life, you would want that the person you're dealing with wouldn't want. Justice, the Hierophant with Justice. Some of you are going through a divorce. Justice is going to be served if you were married or you were in a commitment and this person went outside of the um, commitment. If you went outside of your commitment, you know, you're the one that's going to pay the justice, but I definitely sense that justice is going to be served. What was not fair will now be fair. What was unbalanced will now be balanced here. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. The King of Swords with the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. I think you have somebody that was pretending to be a lot more mature than they actually were. They were pretending like they were this king. Um, and maybe they were a king or they are a king when it comes to their career, their finances. But when it comes to, you know, emotions, being able to express emotions, loving and, you know, being a family person, this person is not a king, right? They are only a king in cer within certain qualities of their life here. And um, there is somebody here, if you are separated from somebody, I do sense that there is somebody that is watching you. There is somebody that is watching you because they want to offer you something they want to offer you. Um, emotion they want to offer you a stable a stable connection you know what I'm sensing it's not really emotion it's actually more of a stable connection they want to offer you a very stable connection um, 
some of you are getting married and this person wants you to sign like a prenup here. If you are fighting for your children in a divorce, I do sense that you will get your children. You know, the outcome will definitely be going in your favor here. But there is somebody here that is, you know, watching you but holding back from presenting you with this offer that they want to hold to you. And I think it's because they're a little bit afraid. I think that this is somebody who's done something very shady to you and they're afraid of what it is that you're going to say. Some of you, this person thinks that you practice magic and this person thinks that ever since you found out about the betrayal or if you find out that they did betray you, then you will like curse them or something. For oh, this page of swords here, this person is definitely trying to gather information. So some of you may have this person blocked here. So they're trying to gather information. But I also feel like this person was presenting themselves to you as the page of swords, right? Somebody who, um, it's like the page of swords, page of wands energy that I'm getting here. Like somebody who has a lot of ideas, a lot of inspiration, but it's all talk, right? I feel like this person is all talk and they need to gain more experience before they can really talk about life, before they can really, you know, love. They need to have experience loving because I feel like they've always been closed off in their relationships here. You're the first person that, you know, push them to be more emotional, push them to open up emotionally. But there is somebody watching you and there is an offer coming in from this person here. I don't sense that this is somebody that's obsessive. I just feel like this person is pretty kind of like, like they would probably just like, mm, like, I don't even know. They would just have a very straight face at the fact that they can't see what it is that you're doing. They don't know what it is that you're up to. So they have to find other ways to figure it out and it doesn't make them happy at all. It makes them feel very annoyed and angry. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. We have the Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups. So you're confused about whether to stay in a relationship or to be single. Some of you guys are confused about what will truly make you happy, what will truly bring you your emotional contentment. Some of you, it's because you're trying to make a decision, right? Should I wait it out and be single and still kind of test out my options? Or should I go in to this commitment here? Some of you, your commitment, you haven't split from this person, but they're no longer making you happy and you do have somebody around that is trying to get towards you. You block them out because you're taken, but because things have been so bad, you're kind of sitting there thinking about this person, thinking about if you were to take this opportunity, if you were to take this offer, if you were to be with this person. Some of you may be daydreaming about this person, just thinking about somebody else that you're not with a lot. I do sense that as well here. With the Seven of Cups and the Ten and the Nine of Cups, I do sense that you need to make a decision. You have to make a decision in order for you to find your happiness, in order for you, once you make this decision, I do sense that it will lead to a wish fulfillment and I see that you will be very happy, but you need to make a decision. There's a choice that you need to make and in order for you to do that, you have to really, you know, allow yourself, you need to go into like a meditative state because the way that you're thinking and the way that your mind is going right now, you're not going to get any answers. You've got to clear your mind. You've got to clear it all out in order for the answers to come towards you. Clarify the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands with the Fool here. I feel like, yeah, you're dealing with, you were dealing with somebody or there is somebody in your circle here who just, um, well, this fool is crying, right? Looking at her phone crying. She got a text message and it didn't make her happy. So it's almost like you're just, I feel like you're, it's because you didn't get a text for some of you. It's because you're like looking at your phone and it's blank. It's like one second this person is rushing into your life and the next second this person is nowhere to be found. And when they rush in, you feel so amazing that you forget the fact that they left before. And then it just ends up becoming this repetitive cycle over and over and over again. And I feel like some of you guys are starting to feel like a fool because you've been putting up with this for so long, right? And I'm not saying that to judge you or anything. I'm just saying that's what I sense is that you're kind of feeling a little bit foolish and it's probably when you're waiting for that text that you're feeling foolish because you think and you kind of know that you should move on, that you should move forward, that you should let this go, that you deserve better. But at the end of the day, you're, something is still making you wait for that text. Somebody, this is because you kind of rushed in without, you know, really setting intentions on what this was going to be. Clarify the chariot. We have the chariot with the seven of cups here. So Seven of Cups is a double energy now. You know, you guys are feeling very confused. 
you guys are, you know, surrounded by po um, plenty of possibilities. It's either that you have multiple choices and it doesn't have to be love. It could be career. It could be anything. It could be where to move for some of you. Or this is the fact that you just feel very confused because you don't know the truth about something. So you create illusions regarding it. You need to ask the question that you need to ask. Some of you have a question or you need an answer and you need to ask this person. Um, let me get another card. Give me more for the chariot, please. Some of you are confused about a cancer. The two of wands. You're confused about the direction, what direction to go in with the person that you're currently dealing with um, or what direction to go in with your life here. But this is all about movement, right? Willpower and determination here. Some of you guys, this is self-doubt, right? That's coming in and um, you're kind of feeling stuck, like you cannot move. And clarify the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups with the Eight of Swords here. So this is another card about feeling a little bit stressed. And this is regarding fear, right? So I feel like some of you guys, because of this, what happened with this past person, you, because this Knight of Cups, I'm telling you, they're going to be a real charmer. And I feel like that's exactly what this Knight of Wands was. But this Knight of Cups actually wants you. This Knight of Cups actually cares about you. And this Knight of Cups is actually a very honest and loyal person. They're just very sweet. And I think that this person is going to, the what happened with this past person or this current person is going to trigger you when this person acts the way that they do, because you're going to assume that they're like this. And I think that you're going to be, you know, trapped in your head with a lot of fear and, um, stress maybe even doubt on if you should go for this or not but this is only fear this is only stress this is only within your head this is not your reality of it and i think that if you get outside of your head you will realize that this person is you know authentic in their actions you know some of you this is definitely somebody that's coming in that hasn't come in yet and you're needing to make sure that you're not you know judging them based on a situation that you you know possibly haven't healed from queen of cups clarify the queen of cups we have the eight of cups, lots of cups. I mean, this is all emotion here. This is all, you know, needing to express emotions, needing to release emotion here. Um, so the queen of cups with the eight of cups here. So I feel like you guys are deciding to pick yourself up and move away from this past person. And you're going to pour a lot of love into yourself. You're realizing that you have to heal, that you need to spend some time to yourself for some of you here. And you're going to be walking away from what no longer serves you. You guys are so loving at all costs and you're going to not, you know, you're going to take that energy back. If, you, if somebody, if you're giving everything into somebody and they're not matching you, you're going to take that energy back and you're going to pour it into yourself. But if somebody is matching that energy, then you're going to keep going, right? But you're going to know when enough is enough. All right, so let me pull you guys some Oracle cards. All right, messages for Pisces, please. We have birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Some of you are being called to, to do something here, but because you're so trapped in your mind, you're not able to, you know, hear what you're being called to do. All right, I'm going to pull you guys some romance angels as well. All right, message. Oh, messages for Pisces. Yeah, we have express. Wow. We have express your love. And let go of control issues. Oh, sorry. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. If you would like a personal reading, the link is down below, as well as the link to the extended, where we are going to take a deeper look at only your love life and pull for you versus all the signs. All right, guys, have a beautiful week. I love you, and I will see you next week. Bye.